hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Jo moin Leute ne, und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Dem Dämonenwelt DSC. Ja, beim letzten Mal haben wir im Vierrinne für Unruhe gesorgt. Nein, wir haben dort einfach nur diesen Armring geholt, äh, Elfe zur Vernunft gebracht und auch Celine, die offenbar richtig kriegswütig ist. Und heute ist Brodia an der Reihe. Ich erwarte einen harten Kampf, vor allem mit Diamant. Das wird lustig, das wird spaßig, das wird anstrengend. Naja. Aber bevor es nach Brodia geht, zumindest für euch, gibt es jetzt erstmal ein paar Bandgespräche. Über mir ist natürlich wie immer ein Zeitstempel, falls ihr die überspringen wollt. Und wir sehen uns dann gleich im Kapitel wieder. I don't get it. I'm always going the extra mile to impress Vander. Why doesn't he ask me to do any real steward work? He must not trust me. Doesn't think I can handle it. Plan. I, yes, sir. I need you to pass along a message to the church nearby. Oh. If I have said it once, I have said it a thousand times. Respond promptly when spoken to. Vander, am I just... your errand boy? Beg pardon? How can I become a great steward if you won't let me do any actual work? What? Listen, clan, the work of a steward is... Far beyond your meager abilities. I get it. I won't amount to anything. Why waste your time properly training me? What are you talking about? Nothing. I'll do what you say and speak when spoken to. Vander's little helper, that's me. One message to the church, coming right up. Wait. Clan, listen. Clan! <laughs> Sir Vander. You are following me. Explain yourself. You are a valiant guardsman, alert at all hours. The people could ask for no better protector. Keeping an eye on me? Oh, just the one. It's nothing personal. Are you afraid I might switch allegiances again? I wasn't saying that, no. Alas, not everyone is convinced you are trustworthy as of yet. Understandable. There is much for which I must atone. I hope I might earn your trust, yet I understand your continued need for surveillance. It's not really surveillance, per se. I'm just watching from afar. I am working diligently, so I may be worthy of everyone's trust. Working hard is all well and good, but trust is a precious commodity. Harder to earn than lose. Trust is a precious commodity. So I am aware. Vander hates me as well. Quite understandable, given my actions towards Queen Lumera. Sir Vander, is it true you used to serve in Lethos under Queen Lumera? Yes, I was her attendant. Why do you ask? I just want to say that as a man of the cloth, I hold you in the highest regard. I would have given my left arm for such an honorable station. In the Holy Land, no less. <laughs> Keep flattering me, and you may lose an ear instead. I'll talk it off with my old war stories. Please do. I'd love to hear about what it was like. Certainly. Though, perhaps we should find a more appropriate place to talk. Why don't you come to my next party? That ought to be a suitable setting. Hmm. I'm not usually one for parties. Oh, I'm sure you'll fit right in. It's just a small gathering at the church. Young adherents praying for peace, some pious singing and dancing, that sort of thing. Worship through song and dance. Why, that sounds marvelous. I see it as my clerical duty to help people find comfort in these difficult times. I understand. You put on these get-togethers as a kind of service to your congregants. Exactly. So, would you care to join us? Of course. How could I refuse an invitation to such a sanctified gathering? Wonderful! I look forward to seeing you there! Amber, I have a question. How does a knight from the Kingdom of Brodia train? Why do you want to know about that? 
To be honest, I've always admired Brodian Knights. And I'm just curious, your country is called the Kingdom of Warriors. So your training methods must be extraordinary. We do crank out a lot of strong warriors, but I think that's due to the terrain. Most of Brody is just cliffs and ravines. It's not great for traditional farming, you know. The focus in many villages is on mining and such, so folks tend to grow sturdy and strong. I see. So strength training is just part of daily life then? For most people, yeah. I grew up on an alpaca ranch, so my daily chores were a bit different. Alpacas? Those rare critters of notoriety? That's fantastic! I adore critters with all my heart! Rare ones especially! If you worked on a ranch, you must know all about them! Please, tell me what you know! Well, first off, alpacas are super fluffy. But also, they're really cute. There is a lot of spitting, though. You have to watch out for that. Spitting? Magnificent! I'm sure I wouldn't mind alpaca spit one bit. Trust me, you would. It takes forever to get the smell out of your clothes. Or hair. I don't mean to brag, but I've become an expert alpaca spit dodger. Ha! <laughs> ah, that's just a couple of your basic spit evasion moves. What? Ah, ah! Ah, why do rocks always sabotage my cool moves? <gasps> I'd expect nothing less from a Brodian knight. Very impressive. Huh? Brodian knights aren't just strong. They're spry enough to pull off a pratfall. Well played. You really must teach me the secret to your strength sometime soon. Uh, you enjoyed that? Then, yeah, that was all planned. I am the picture of strength and agility. Divine One, I must say, you have the most evocative eyes. This one's like a cherry tomato. Oh, and that one, a blueberry. Um, thanks, I think. You did mean those as compliments, right? Of course. Tomatoes and blueberries are among the most precious treasures that nature gives us. I am steeped in culinary traditions from all over the world. Ergo, my penchant for food analogies. Ugh, so inspiring. I guess it makes sense that a chef would see the world in terms of ingredients. Thank you. No, no. It is I who should be thanking you for allowing me to find inspiration in your tomato and blueberry eyes. How impressive, Brune, to know about so many dishes from around the world. I have much more to learn, and inspiration strikes me in many unexpected ways. I aspire to experience every flavor inspiration and to create new recipes for people to enjoy. Wow. I look forward to seeing you do that. A chef must always be up for a culinary journey, wherever it may go. Zelestia, you still haven't taken a break? Well, no, I was still organizing the weapons. I'm almost finished. You know, you can reach out to me at any time. I'd be happy to help you. All of these things you've been noticing and taking care of for us have been really helpful. I'm doing this because I want to. By the way, you were wonderful in battle today, Divine One. The bravery you show protecting your friends is inspiring. But all that effort requires rest, too. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get plenty of food and rest. You don't need to worry about me. Speaking of food, wasn't today's meal so good? That vegetable soup <laughs> was delicious. Oh, that does sound lovely. Sorry, I didn't realize you hadn't eaten. I'm sure there's still some left if you want to go now. No need to apologize. I got busy and forgot. Oh, the last time I sat down for a proper meal was... Uh, huh. A few days ago, I think. What? You need a proper sit-down meal. Meals take time, but I do snack a lot. There's just so much I want to do for everyone. That's no good. You're coming with me, Celestia. Um, where are we going? You have to eat properly if you're going to have enough energy for all this activity. I'll be watching to see that you take time to sit down and eat more. Oh no, what have I done? At least the books weren't damaged. I better pick them up before anyone... What are you up to, Divine One? 
Oh, hello, Gregory. I was asked to help tidy up, but then... But then it all came tumbling down, huh? Even the Divine Dragon can't carry it all at once. Here, let me help you. Many hands make for light work, right? Thank you very much. If we work together, I think we can be done in a few more trips. So why the big clean anyway? Or better question, why are you the one doing it? I mean, isn't this something you could get one of your allies to do for you? I couldn't possibly ask someone to do my work for me. I want to help out however I can, even when that means tidying up. Huh. Okay, the books are all properly stacked. Hopefully they won't topple over again. Such a kind soul. I just hope no one ever takes advantage of... Oh, did you say something? Uh, nope. Nope, nope. Not a thing. Hello. Do you have a moment to speak? <gasps> Ma, no. You must be Madeline. Yes, that's right. And you are Mavier. Yes. Um... Did you need something? Pardon me. I only wanted to say hello and formally introduce myself. Being from a different world, I'm sure I have much to learn about yours. But I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, and I look forward to fighting for victory together. Your warm greeting is noted. In fact, I was hoping you and I would have a chance to speak. Thank you for coming to me. Oh, no thanks needed. It's custom for a junior knight to greet her betters. Betters? I saw how you fought in the last battle, cleaving through enemy ranks with ease. It's clear to me you are a brave, capable knight. Well done, Madeline. Oh, um, thank you. That's very kind. But really, there's no need for such praise. I am a knight, sworn to protect my allies. So that's how you are. Wonderful. I... Um... Apologies. You doubtless have many more people to greet. I will take my leave. But wait, Mavier... Oh. How strange it is, speaking to Mavier again. But am I imagining things? I got this curious feeling. It felt like he was looking at me, but speaking to someone else. having a hard time deciding which weapon truly suits me. How did you choose? Well, the hero's relic passed down in my family was a lance. I suppose it was decided for me. Thank you for lending me so much of your strength. What can I do to become your friend? You don't need to do anything. Being able to chat like this shows we're already friends. I do not mean to pry, but I cannot fail to notice how lonely you seem, even among friends. I assure you, that isn't the case. I do hope I haven't caused you undue concern. You and the other members of the Four Winds seem to be quite close, Celestia. Yes, it's because I care deeply about everyone here. Your trio also appears to be very close. In the deepest darkness of solitude, would you desire to make the light your own? Would you answer the stranger calling for you from beyond a closed door? Their voice is despairing, their message bleak. News of gleaming ore turned dark as night. But what does it matter? One knows the truth. In this world, there is no compassion. My pain does not exist here. We've walked quite a long way now. 
Is everyone feeling all right? Naturally. Though no doubt it would be easier if I were riding my wyvern. We're going to Brodia, right? Why aren't we taking the road? Brodia is widely known for its hatred of war. We would not be permitted to cross the border. And their border security is tighter than that of any other nation. So, we must enter covertly. But more to the point, we are no longer going to Brodia. We are already there. Huh? We crossed into Brodia already. We have been within its borders for some time. And you didn't think to mention that sooner? I was unaware it was so important. I hope you can still reschedule the parade. <sighs> I'm just saying that allies should keep each other informed. Shh! Quiet, you two! Someone's here! We cannot have been discovered already. There they are! Wait, Divine One! D stop! Please! Don't hurt me! Gregory! You know each other? Indeed. Gregory is one of the Four Winds, like me. I'm not familiar. We are a small band of knights established after the war to protect Lady Nell and Lord Nil. As the name implies, the Four Winds is composed of four members, Gregory here included. I directed him to gather information for us, same as Celestia. Thank you for your dutiful work, Gregory. But we did plan to meet some distance from here. Right, about that. I got turned around and didn't think I could find our spot. Wasn't sure what to do, so I headed back to the border. I'm so grateful I found you. Before you give us your report, there is something that you should know. This individual here is... Not the divine dragon we know, right? <laughs> Correct. So I'm guessing the ritual worked, and you summoned this one from elsewhere. Indeed. That spares me the work of explanation. Amazing, Gregory. How did you figure all of that out? Not sure exactly. Something about this one seems... scary, I guess. Probably the fact I almost attacked you. Sorry about that. No, that's not it. You're just different from the Divine Dragon I knew. I'm not talking appearances, either. It's like your essence is... off. I'm not making any sense, am I? Gregory's sense of caution is sharp. He may be attuned to differences others don't notice. I see. That's okay. So long as you aren't a threat, I'm sure I'll get used to you. Oh, and sorry if I'm not addressing you formally enough. Always been bad at that etiquette stuff. I don't mind. Please, feel free to speak casually. It's all right, Gregory. The Divine Dragon has proven to be a good person, full of kindness. That's right, Divine One. I quite like you. Thanks, Nell. I like you, too. <sighs> You said the Four Winds were four knights. Where are the other two, then? They are embedded in the remaining nations, gathering intelligence there. As Celestia took Firene and Gregory Brodia, the other two are assigned to Illusia and Solm. I'm the leader of our little group. I'll admit it, the name Celestia of the Four Winds carries weight. <laughs> I'm a fairly renowned general. Either that. Or you're so loud that people have no choice but to know your name. <clears throat> what did you say? Just joking! <laughs> Come on, no need for violence. What was that? Are we under attack? <laughs> Looks like my pursuers found us. Sorry, I really thought I'd lost them. Explain, Gregory. Oh, um, I was spotted while scouting. I ran for my life, but <laughs> I guess they followed. One, two, three. Uh, no use counting. The enemy outnumbers us, and easily. We should run. But wait, why not fight them off? If they are pursuing us, then they are border guards or knights. They will not have a bracelet. A fight will exhaust us without any gain. You want to run? I'm your man. This way, everyone. Follow me. We should be safe here. Let's just head out for a bit. 
Ah, that reminds me, Divine One. While I see that you prefer to fight, we are accustomed to being on the defensive. I noticed. You choose your battles. Of course. How do you think we managed to survive this long? Not by fighting bravely every time someone comes after us, but by running away. Beyond operations to place the emblems into slumber, we are in no position to attack anyone. Perhaps if the Four Winds were equal to other nations' knightly orders, it would be different. But alas, we're not. I fear we are something of a disappointment. Nonsense! The Four Winds have saved our lives time and time again! My sister and I are very proud of you. Kind words, Lord Nil. I thank you. The foe has abandoned Chase. Gregory, give us your report. Something's happening in Brodia. They've started sending soldiers out of the country. I would not have expected them to be plotting an invasion. Where? That I don't know. Wherever it is, they've done a good job keeping it secret. But judging by the intel I got, I think they want to take the seven bracelets. Interesting. Maybe Brodia's doing what we are. Keeping them away from our unknown enemy. I don't think that's their goal. It seems like they want the bracelet's power for themselves. What would a peaceful nation want with more power? The boon granted by the emblem bracelets when they are gathered varies by circumstance. With all seven gathered in an awakened state, the result, as you know, is enormous power. But gather all seven when they are asleep. And the bracelets can render you immune to all harm. Immune? They make you invincible? That's right. It's the ultimate defense. For a country that hates war, I can't think of anything more valuable. If that is so, then they would need the emblems to be asleep. They would require Nell. Perhaps the assassins sent to Lethos Castle were actually kidnappers from Protea. That is possible. Well, we don't know any of that for sure. But there's one thing we do know. Brody is going to raise an army, and soon. You figured it all out. Well done. Though, I'm afraid this means we can't let you leave. <gasps> Impossible. I didn't sense anyone approaching. It seems these are no average soldiers. They are Brodian royals. Look, Diamant. Here they are. Now finish them off. Or must I do everything for you, my pathetic excuse for a brother? I was planning to take them by surprise, Alchrist. You shouldn't have revealed our position. Oh. Thanks for telling me the plan. Nell. Nil. I take no pleasure in this. I hoped our next meeting would be friendly. Sadly, it seems now that bloodshed is unavoidable. You must be angry indeed to discard the peaceful principles of your nation. Look, Nell. He is wearing one of the bracelets. You're seeking the bracelets, hmm? What a coincidence. As your spy deduced, so are we. It seems our goals align. What do you say? Should we join forces once more? You cannot be serious. You're right, I'm not. What gave it away? War must be torn out at the root before its tendrils spread. As much as it pains me to kill former allies, I have no other choice. Soldiers to battle! Capture Lady Nell alive! Show the rest no mercy! Circumstances now demand we fight. Celestia! Gregory! Prepare for battle! Gladly. I'm gonna focus on not getting hurt. Ready yourself, Divine One. I expect no less from you than before. That goes without saying. Okay, jetzt ist Gris so gesehen in unserem Team. Naja, Gregory in dem Fall. Er ist halt einfach das komplette Gegenteil, was er in meiner Welt ist, ne? Was habt ihr denn da eigentlich für komische Türme? Tornado-Projekt? Ein Ziel? Okay, keine fliegenden Einheiten. Schon verstanden. 
vor allem Elkvis äh, ist komplett um 180 gedreht. Emblem Veronika. Das ist wahrscheinlich äh, irgendwo praktisch, wenn man eine fliegende Einheit nehmen würde, um die aufzuhalten. Weil ich komme da selbst mit äh, Donner nicht dran. Äh, aber ihre Projektile sind ja effektiv gegen fliegende Einheiten, ist das Problem. Und hier sind auch äh, Bogenschützen unterwegs. Naja, so oder so. Ich passe jetzt erstmal meine Truppen an. Wir sehen uns in ein paar Sekunden wieder. So Leute, meine Einheiten sind aufgestellt. Ich habe jetzt keine fliegende Einheit außer Celestia dabei. Celestia muss sich auf jeden Fall um die Projektilheinis hier oben auf den Türmen kümmern. Am besten ich lasse vorher die hier vorne auch antanzen. Ich hätte auch gern so ein Magikanonier. Wäre auf jeden Fall mal äh, cool, mit so Projektilen um mich zu schießen. Ich habe natürlich Alkos und Diamant hier ins Team geholt und habe jetzt auch Frammel wieder zurück, weil jetzt, jetzt ist sie praktisch. It is unfortunate that we have to fight each other. But I suppose we should get started. Beware the magical artillery of Brodia. They can strike from quite a distance. Okay. Die beiden muss ich natürlich vernichten, aber die Kanoniere sind das größte Problem. Okay, mit dem Panzerbrecher mache ich auf jeden Fall den Heini schon mal weg. Ja, Schaden stecke ich ruhig weg. So, bin bereit. Okay, sie haben zumindest eine niedrige Trefferchance. So, Tomahawk, go. So, machen wir einen Kanonier erstmal weg. Dich kann ich direkt als nächstes über den Haufen schießen. Naja, du überlebst gerade so. Na komm, schieß ruhig auf mich. Schöne Kanone ist relativ schwach. Die Kanone ist heftig. Zumindest für die einzige Person, die zu dem hinkommt. Das Gute ist, die treffen echt schlecht. So, dann mache ich dich jetzt erstmal fertig. Der Brodia-Soldat ist damit weg. Ein Kanonier weniger, der mir auf den Keks geht. So, dir kann ich den Speer ins Gesicht werfen. Wenn ich mich links halte, kann ich den äh, anderen Kanonier eigentlich ignorieren. Weil der kommt da nicht weg. So, kommt ruhig her.
0% Trefferchance. Ich glaube, je weiter weg ich bin, umso schlechter treffen die. Nope. Ich habe auf jeden Fall eine Idee, wie ich da oben an den Gut hinkomme, ohne dass Sephir totgeschossen wird. Aber erstmal werfe ich dir einen Speer ins Gesicht. So, Elfendonner. Und dann mache ich gleich Protektion bei ihr. Tschüss. Elfenwind. Rip. Excuse me. A proud victory. Deswegen finde ich Diamant als Gegner gefährlich, weil er so übelst stark ist. Was man hier gerade ja gut sehen konnte, ne? So. Stehe bereit. Dann jetzt als erstes den Kanonier weg. So. So. Konnte sonst nichts viel machen. Aus. Die Kanoniere sind eigentlich relativ ungefährlich. Die treffen nie. So macht man Damage. So, Langbogen auf Alkvis. Alkvis gegen Alkvis. Das, das ergibt doch was Lustiges. So kann man es auch sehen. So, ich greife dich da mal mit dem Donnerschwert an, das sollte passen. So, Alkus, schieß auf mich. Du triffst doch eh nicht. Alter, Elkwiss ist ja einfach wahnsinnig. Na ja gut, jetzt habe ich das Gespräch hier gehabt, was ich haben wollte. Ich gehe mal aus dem Weg, dann kann ein Diamant einen Tomahawk werfen. Ich hätte ihn auch letzte Runde schon angreifen können, aber dann wäre er gestorben. I will accept your challenge. I get the impression our relationship is much less cordial in this world. Yep. Okay, daneben. Aber ich habe ja noch andere Möglichkeiten. Be grateful it's me you're fighting and not my incompetent brother. I'll end this cleanly. 
So, mit dem Donnerschwert mache ich ihn hier mal safe weg. Die Kanoniere sind schon irgendwo nervig, aber sie treffen halt nicht. So, nachher. Er hat schon durch die Koop-Schläge ausgeschaltet. Alter, wie aggressiv ist Alkus hier? Guckt euch diesen Alkus den, äh, an, den ich habe. Der ist richtig friedlich. I'm here. I'm still alive? Huh. Wir halten für die Zukunft fest. Hätte Elkwiss Selbstvertrauen wählen, es. Soldier ist poised to let fly a massive salvo. The attack will cover a wide area. Be ready. Da ist noch mal ein Kanonier. Nee, kein Kanonier, ein Magier. Was hat der da gerade veranstaltet? Emblem Veronica? I will be borrowing your power to establish contracts with heroes. It's time to honor your contracts. Da steht jemand. Steht jemand, der nicht da stehen sollen dürfte. Okay, mit Emblem Veronica kann man andere Embleme als Krieger beschwören? Naja, so oder so schieße ich erstmal dich über den Haufen. So, mit Elfenwind mache ich dich mal ein bisschen runter. Ja, da kann ich nicht wohnen hinten. So, das hier können wir einfach beenden. Ich glaube nicht, dass da ein Gespräch irgendwo gewesen wäre, wenn er jetzt schon kein Gespräch hatte. So, frisst mein Speer. Lass Diamant erstmal zu mir kommen. to face myself on the battlefield it seems the time has come with an attitude like that how can you expect to ever be victorious even if i won nothing would change i have no idea how to be a good king then lay down your weapon if you can't you must still believe you have something to defend if you are truly king show me a worthy battle okay kein schaden also nicht so wirklich. Wie ist mein Blitz? Oh, seine Waffe hat mir die Bewegung geraubt. So, ich greife gerade Diamant extra nicht an. Ich will ihn schon mit allen bequatschen, die ich nutzen kann. Wie kannst du mit 15% treffen? Ich verstehe es nicht. Tschüss. So, dann schieße ich einmal mit Elquist. Elquist, du willst mich kämpfen? Ich wusste es. Er hat nie akzeptiert mich als König. Er hat gedacht, du warst meine Verhältnis meiner Assassination all along. Jetzt ist die Zeit, oder? Eine Assassination? Du bist mein Bruder, Diamant. Ich respektiere und admire dich. Ich würde nie... Dann lay down deine Arme. I can't. He may be my big brother, but you're still the enemy. 
Wait, you're certain to misunderstand that. Hold on a minute, let me clarify. Oh, I'm sorry, my words aren't coming out right. Ja, er versteht nicht, dass es hier Probleme gerade gibt. So, ich kann ihn im Bruch verpassen. Our emblem has considerable power. Now is the time to yield before it is too late. Excuse me. Over here. So, dich mache ich mal fertig. Warum ist deine Waffe gelb? Du hast eine geringe Trefferchance, aber warum ist deine Waffe gelb? Wie kommt das? Meine Waffe, äh... Ich habe bei einem gesehen, ist auch gerade gelb. So. Dunkler Funke. So, dich kann ich mit Elfenwind tatsächlich töten. Bei dem anderen Einsatz hätte es nicht geklappt. Ich mein Tomahawk. Daneben. Ja, das dachte ich mir schon. Du reißt halt irgendwen an, der sich gerade nicht wehren kann. Ich will Diamant mit dem Bündnisschlag ausschalten. Weg mit dir. So, da beenden wir das hier. Ich muss schon sagen, die Kämpfe hier im DLC, die gehen echt kurz. Also für die braucht man wirklich nicht besonders lang. Ich kann mich aus dem Bild packen. I won't risk losing you again. It has been awful here since you died. I believed all along that the nation should stop squabbling and go back to the way we were. I beg you, please, guide us to unity once more. I'm sorry. Only the Divine Dragon of this world could have done that, but I can still take on the burden of stopping this conflict through the battle you wish to avoid. Forgive me for fighting you. Verzeiht mir hier, dass ich euch vernichte. Alter, äh, Diamant und Elkes haben einfach komplett die Persönlichkeiten getauscht. Nur dass Elkis äh, zusätzlich auch noch richtig aggressiv ist. Holy moly. It is over. We withdraw. Diamond, no. We can't surrender. Not after they took our bracelet. We must get it back. Come on. Round two. You have a plan then? An idea that will turn the tide? Please. Share it. <sighs> now, Nil, we are removing ourselves from the game board. We won't interfere any longer. The bracelet is in your hands, as is Brodia's fate. Please, guide the world to peace. This is the bracelet of the Lonely Air, without a doubt. With this, we now have four bracelets. Emblem Veronica dwells within. She has the power to call upon soldiers from other worlds. But she is tainted by evil, the same as Firinae's emblem. We should assume they all will be. Am I with you now? Yes, Emblem Veronica. But we won't make you fight for us. You can rest for now. I see. 
I am grateful for the reprieve, but I am also a bit lonely. When I awaken, I hope you will be at my side, even without a contract binding us together. Don't worry. You'll remain with us during our journey. And someday, we will see you again. I suppose that settles things here. I'm not used to fighting my own battles, let alone winning them. Yes. Fleeing comes more naturally to us all, the Divine Dragon excluded. There may be some truth to that. Each of us has run away from one thing or another. What do you mean? During the war a thousand years ago, when Sombron burned my village, I fled to Lethos. Other mage dragons possessed powerful magic, but mine has never been that strong. That's why Sombron couldn't find me, while my family and friends, all brilliant mages, perished. Ah, Sombron planned to force the mage dragons to fight for him, but we refused to submit. And now I'm the last of my kind. I used to live in Illusia as a follower of Sombron, but I couldn't act like the others. The fell dragon craved pain and blood, and his disciples were only happy to oblige. I just couldn't join their fervor, so I faked it. And when a priest found out, I had no choice but to run. Run, or give up my life to the fell dragon. I welcomed Gregory into Lethos. He selflessly rushed to my aid in a vicious battle in Illusia. You say it like I'm some kind of hero. You were surrounded by the corrupted, so I went to help. And I, as you know, am a failure. I am only alive because Nell and I fled from Sombron together. I have said it before, and I will say it again. You are not a failure, Nil. I'm sorry. I know it upsets you when I speak that way. But Nell is much stronger than I am. She could face any opponent, if not for me. So I suppose she is also one who is comfortable taking a stand. No. I have done as much fleeing as the rest of you. That's not true. I've never seen you run away from anything. I fled my responsibility. I should have stopped the royals of the Four Nations from taking their respective bracelets. You were only respecting their wishes. You even said that's what the Divine Dragon would want. I said that to mask my fear. I was afraid that my plea would be rejected, that I would lose our allies, and that I would be forced to fight them in Lethos Castle. I had no idea. So I too have fled when I should have made a stand. I could have stopped all of this. That knowledge prevented me from leaving the land of Lethos until our savior arrived. And because of that, I am perhaps to blame for the current state of the world. Absolutely not. You have done nothing wrong. I agree. Our unknown opponent should carry the blame, not you. I never would have thought you were running away too, Lady Nell. You always seem so strong. We may be a collection of weaklings, but we're still alive. That has to count for something. The Divine Dragon was strong, and the Divine Dragon died. No. All right, that's enough doom and gloom. We're making this Divine Dragon worry. Things are different now. Each of us has proven we can handle ourselves in battle. That is in no small part thanks to you. Your guidance has been a blessing. It's true. Yeah, you've been a big help. I am also grateful for your assistance. Such as it has been thus far. <laughs> I should have guessed a qualifier was coming. But I know you mean well, so thank you. And I'm glad to be of help. Well, there is still much to be done. Let us keep up our momentum. Where are we going next? To the Kingdom of Knowledge in the West. The Kingdom of Illusia. Hey, look, it's Nell, the pride of the brood. Not only can she transform, but she can also put emblems to sleep. Isn't that right, Nell? Must be rough for you, though, having that failure for a twin. Are you talking about Nell? Oh, is that this failure's name? I don't usually bother to remember them. 
Don't you worry about his weakness rubbing off on you? We could just get rid of him. Wouldn't be a problem. All he's doing is holding you back. Wouldn't you agree now? What do you say? <sighs> you must not be serious. What? I said surely you must not be serious. If you truly intended to kill my brother, I would have to... I would have to... <sighs> what? What happened? Was all of this... my doing? What have I done? Called the weak. <sighs> Father... Forgive me. I did not intend to. There is nothing to forgive. Please continue. I did not mean to interrupt the killing. I believe you will make a suitable heir. I... You. I told you Brodia would avoid conflict. What more do you need? And why did the guards let you in? I killed them. <coughs> Entrusting your safety to them was a grievous lapse in judgment. Now, I would like to know whether the attack on Lethos Castle was your doing. Answer. What are you talking about? An attack on Lethos? Which country would dare start hostilities? Firene? No. Illusia, surely. You truly seem to know nothing of the matter. So be it. I have no further use for you. Volchrist! <laughs> Volchrist! You monster! You filthy snake! I don't understand. We gave you what you wanted. You had no reason to do this. In fact, I do have a reason, King Diamant. I would not ordinarily come for you by stealth, but I could not ignore this opportunity. Now, I must return before dawn. It would not do for the others to become suspicious. <sighs> King Alfred and Princess Saline hardly put up a fight either. Äh. Hat äh, in äh, vor alle königlichen Mitglieder umzubringen? Wenn ja, ist Nell höchstwahrscheinlich äh, im Hintergrund die Böse. Und wird dasselbe jetzt hier in Illusia veranstalten. Die Frage ist nur, warum? Sie wirkt ja auf mich erstmal nicht so, als wäre sie böse. Naja, der erste Eindruck kann täuschen. Hat mit Diamant und Alkis gerade kurz einen Prozess gemacht. Okay, beim nächsten Mal geht's dann zur Dämonenwelt 4 nach Elusia in den frostigen Wald. Ich hoffe, das geht ein bisschen glimpflicher aus. Auf jeden Fall, Leute. Wenn euch der heutige Part gefallen hat, ein Abo und ein Like da lassen. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao und bis dann.